and welcome to uh, lesson 12 on Unity 3D C Sharp. Uh, the lessons that I'm going to be doing from here on out for a while are really going to be about object-oriented programming. And these lessons are really for those folks, uh, like you hopefully, that really want to understand what object-oriented programming is in C Sharp and how object-oriented programming works in Unity. The lessons will not necessarily be exciting, but I'll try to make them as interesting as I can. I have to say that if you really want to get serious about doing programming in C Sharp in Unity 3D, you really need to understand object-oriented programming. So this first one I'm going to have here is on functions. And I'm going to start out by giving the simplest possible example I can of what a function is and how to use a function. All right, so I'm going to start out by right-clicking on the asset panel. And I'm going to come here to create a C-sharp script. And I'm going to call it my uh, example, the uh, X-A-M-T-L-E. OK, now let's see if I get that right. And I hit the Enter key. And there it is. I'm going to double left click and bring up the, uh, the editor, which takes a while uh, for the editor to come up. Oh, and I see I'm using mono development. I don't know if I've used that in the other. So what I have here, is, just as a review, I have the class my example, which is the name of the program. And I have here a function which starts off with a keyword void. And void simply means the simplest kind of function. There's more technical definitions for it, but we'll let that uh, happen later. This word start is a special meaning to unity, as we've talked about before. And here for a function is, are the required parentheses. And then right here is the left squiggly thing, and there's the right squiggly thing. We're going to be using this but we're going to get rid of the update. We don't need the update. And I just want to get rid of the function itself. I don't want to get rid of the whole thing. So I want to make sure that when I do that, for every opening brace, for every opening brace, I have a corresponding closing brace. So here's an opening brace for the, for the class, my example. There is a closing brace. Here's the opening brace for, for start. Oh, I thought I got rid of update. I didn't press the delete key. All right, let me try it again. All right, I gotta see my keyboard here. Oh, I hit home instead. I'm sorry. Okay, so just make sure that for every opening brace you have a closing brace, and they're like this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to define my own function. I'm going to create my own function, and basically what a function is, it allows me to group together pieces of code, which is one of the basic ideas behind object-oriented programming. So I start my functions off for now with the keyword void, V-O-I-D, all in lowercase. And then I give an identifier for my function, which is the same rules for giving a variable identifier. No different. I know that if I use uh, my to start it off with, that that's not going to be a reserved word in a Unity 3D. So I'm going to call it my function with a capital F. U-N-C-T-I-O-N. Now, I must have these right here. I can put a space in or not, just like up in the start function. And then here's the starting squiggly thing. And now I'm in the body of the function. So the function has to do something. So I'm going to have it print, and I'm going to have it print from O-M my function, F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N, period, and then explanation, uh, quotation marks, and then uh, that, okay? Print my function from my function, and then I'm going to close off uh, the, uh, the function. Now, between this squiggly thing, the closing squiggly thing, and the opening squiggly thing, this is what's in here is the body of the function. I can put as many lines of code within this body of the function as I want. That's one of the nice things about functions, is they can hold large groups of code and help me break my program up into groups of code called functions. So in order to use this function, I have to, I have to call it. 
So I'm going to call it from start. So the way you call a function is all you do is you, you type out the name of the function with parentheses. And it's my function. You see it already right there in mono behavior? It knows it says, oh, you want your function, huh? Yes. Okay. That's what I want. I want my function. And then I have to put these so that it knows, and the semicolon, so that the program knows, oh, you're not talking about a variable, my function. You're talking about a function, my function. So here's what will happen. The program will start. It will say, I want you to use my function. It will look for it. Where is it? Oh, it's down here. What am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to print from my function. Okay. So let's go ahead and save it. And let's close it. And don't forget, we have to attach it to something. So let's go ahead and just attach it to the camera, to the camera object. And we want to make sure, we click on the camera, we want to make sure it's there. So we come down, and there it is, my example, which is the script. And we want to make sure that we're on the console, and we don't have maximize on play open. And we're going to go ahead and do it. Here we go. And it says, from my function, right there. So, as a review, let's see what happened. What did we learn about functions? Okay. What we learned about functions is that for now, there, we can create our own functions. They're all going to start off with the key word called void, which must be in lowercase. We can now name the function anything we want to, as long as it obeys the rules of creating variables. That is, it can't start with a number. It can't be a C-sharp reserved word. Uh, it, it can't use uh, any reserved words that Unity 3D has. So generally, I know if I start off with my, I can have anything else I want here, and it, I'm pretty much safe. It must be followed by uh, parentheses, and then it has the left opening squiggly thing. I put as many lines of code in here as I wish for things I want to do, and it finishes with the right squiggly thing. Okay, that's it for, for this uh, tutorial. Uh, I'll be looking forward for you on the next one. Thank you for, for watching.